show that the identity is true. Ooh, we have ourselves a proof. What we want to do is we want to take this weird looking uh, fraction and make it look like that. So basically the best thing to do is whenever you see sines and cotangents floating around is to break it down to its simplest parts. Sine X is sine X, can't really change that. But cotangent X is cosine X over sine X. Sine X is in an invisible numerator and an invisible denominator. Well, not invisible, actual denominator. And they cross each other out. Now, when I do that, I'm left with one over cos X. And you might be thinking, no, that's too easy. There's no way that, that that's all I have to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's a pretty friendly problem. Some of them are friendly, just like me.